Three, two. Praise the Lord and welcome to our Sunday morning service. You're going to be tremendously, tremendously blessed. We have the Spirit Clinic coming up right now with our Father and Mother and the Lord, Papa and Mama. Your faith is going to be lifted as the Lord continues to prepare you in this place of worship. It's our month of higher ground. And as we're learning more about worship, it's going to be positioning you to lay hold on it. So I'm really excited for the Spirit Clinic this morning. I also want you to stay tuned and get ready because we also have a special guest minister, Reverend Albert Odewale. He is, he's coming in. He's a minister of power, a minister of the Word of God. And last time you were here, we were tremendously blessed. So let your faith be high and be ready. And I really want to encourage you. You know, the Bible talks about the parable of the seed sown on the hard ground. It says, because they didn't understand, immediately the birds of the air took that, uh, took that seed away. And that's the word of God. As you're sitting down to listen this morning, I really want to encourage you, get rid of distractions. It's not time for dishes. It's not time for food. Let your focus be on the Lord this morning so the Lord can be... Uh, so the Lord can bless you and minister to you, amen, even as you're ministering to Him. So set apart the time. It's only a couple of hours. You're going to be tremendously blessed. Praise God. Let's get ready for the Spirit Clinic. Hallelujah. Praise God again this morning. I welcome you all, giant killers out there, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This morning, again, you are going to be tremendously Blessed in Jesus' holy name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have been looking at power now through worship. How we can move and operate a life that is full of power of God. Amen. Amen. Through activate I and mean, using the instrument of worship. You got to understand worship. It is very, very, very powerful tool. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we have said in our last uh, teaching that your worship must be deep. It cannot be a distracted worship. It must be thoughtful and it must be conscious. Again, it must be deep, undistracted, thoughtful, and conscious, which means... It must involve your entire mind. That means your soul, your heart, your spirit, and your entire body. Amen. It has to be unified. And then we said number two, it has to be in knowledge. It must be in spirit and in truth. It must be in knowledge, which means you have to know God. Amen. We look at the scripture in John chapter 4, verse 20. Where Christ said, Thou knoweth not what, but we know what we worship. For salvation is of the Jews. You have to know God. I mean, Apostle Paul said, They do not know God. To, uh, they made an inscription to an unknown God. He said, Let me show him who he is. You have to know God Amen. to be able to worship Amen. him. Because you can't afford to be classified in a class of those who lie to God, who flatter him. The Bible says in Psalm 78, verse 6 and 7, it said they flattered him with their leaves because their heart was not right with him. They lied to him with their tongues. And Christ said in Matthew 15 that these people worship me. In vain do they worship me. They love to say we love you, we worship you, but they don't mean what they say. But your worship has to be based on knowledge and understanding. The Bible said those who glory, those who honor God, those who rejoice, let them glory in that they know it and understand it. Me. Amen. Understanding is a wellspring of life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The Bible say understanding is deep in the heart of a man. But a way, I mean knowledge is deep, but a man of understanding will draw it out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You go to understand. You go to know God based on knowledge. The Bible says it's not good that the soul be without knowledge. So you should worship to be powerful. It has to be deep. It has to be undistracted, thoughtful, and then conscious of his presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It has to be extremely based on knowledge. Truth. 
Hallelujah. And in the spirit. Amen. 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 We share some of the things we need to know about God that we started last week is uh, uh, the nature, the works, the character, the futures, and the names of God. Five things that you must know about God. And I thank God that is why the Holy Ghost is giving to reveal Jesus to you. And, and why Jesus Christ came is to reveal the Father to us. Yeah. So we worship the Father in the name of Jesus. And then we know Jesus by the walking of the Holy Ghost. The revelation of Jesus, amen, amen. is by the Spirit. That alone is worship. The revelation of God by Jesus is by the Spirit also. That alone is worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May you know God. Amen. May you know him Amen. and know the works of God. Amen. So we are going to focus mainly, we're going to start this series mainly on understanding the works of God. The works that God has done and the works that God is doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But let me quickly paraphrase again the definition of worship. Amen. It, it, like I said in the last two teachings, it can be summarized in two statements. Number one, it is the response and your expression, your response and expression to divine manifestation or connection. Let me come again. Your response and expression to divine manifestation or connection, Amen. which means when God manifests, when you connect God, when you see, when you hear, when you feel, when you taste God, your natural response is worship if you're in the spirit. Amen. Amen. That's what the beast in heaven does. That's what the 24 elders does. Mm -hmm. That's when the angels does. Mm -hmm. That's what the saints all over the world does. Every mm -hmm. time God manifests, we bow. We sing, mm -hmm. we worship, we glorify him yeah. so that God can manifest more mm -hmm. in our midst. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. Unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Mm -hmm. He is the most important one in the center. Whenever anything is happening in our church, thank God for the men of God that God is using their instrument, their tools, their pipe. They mean nothing except their claim. They will can thank God for them, that God can use it. But the real worker behind the scene is God himself. Amen. So he alone deserves all the praise. Amen. You can say thank God for mama, thank God for papa, for any pastor. But behind your heart, in your heart, you know who is using them. Amen. So your praise ultimately goes to God. Amen. Thank you for this wonderful service. Amen. I was blessed. I saw the hand of God Amen. healing that healing that. That is when you are worshiping. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, it's okay to say thank God for my husband, mm -hmm. but it's God behind the scene that is using him. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So your heart has to be on the Lord. So God can use whomsoever because God feel it all in all. And there is no tool that God cannot use. Mm -hmm. God is an engineer that can work with pencil. Amen. <laughs> Whatever God finds on the scene, God uses. Mm -hmm. He can use a horse. He can use a donkey. Mm -hmm. Even the stone can lift up their voice and praise him. <laughs> the waters will sing. Mm -hmm. The birds will sing. Everything will lift up their voices. Mm -hmm. Everything that God has created has a voice of worship within them. Within you is a harper, it's a, it is a string, hallelujah. hallelujah. When God tunes you, you start singing like a bird, hallelujah. hallelujah. One of the things that can turn you into a worshiper is revelation of the works of God. Mm -hmm. My prayer is that in this series, may the work of God appear again to you. Amen. This morning, may the testimony of Jesus Christ be revealed to you. Amen. May you see your salvation. Amen. May you see your breakthrough. Amen. 
May you see your healing. May you see your deliverance. May you see your victory that God has wrought, that God has done. Not what God will do, what God has done. So you can begin from there and then move to what God is doing and what God will do. Remember, God is always working. So the very first statement, definition of worship is responding rightly to the manifestations of all connections of God when God manifests. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My prayer today is that God will show himself again to you. Amen. Every morning his mercies are near. Amen. May you taste of his mercies again today Amen. as you worship God genuinely in the service. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. David said that shall cause me to hear of your loving kindness in the morning. Amen. May you hear of his loving kindness today. Amen. May God whisper in your ear, it's okay, daughter. May God say to you, I will make it happen. Mm -hmm. Then you are your eyes. Hallelujah. Amen. It doesn't matter what you are going through. When God manifests, every other thing succumbs. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are born for worship. Amen. You are born to praise Him. Amen. You are born to give Him praise. Amen. May you find your ministry. Amen. May you find your purpose of living. Amen. May you be called a worshiper of Amen. God Amen. through Jesus Christ by the Holy Amen. Ghost. Amen. The number two statement of worship, amen, mm -hmm. that you can define worship is expressing your longing and desire for his manifestation and connection. Mm -hmm. When you've seen his manifestation before, God has done great things for you. You want to see more. You want to grow in that manifestation. Then you use the instrument of worship. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know his name is Alpha. To just sit down in one place and begin to sing this song. Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of my praise. Today, you are worthy of my praise. Today, Alpha, Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of my praise. Today, you are worthy of my praise. Today, hallelujah. hallelujah. Because you are trying to provoke that manifestation. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are facing a challenge that requires Jehovah Jireh, that requires the Alpha, that requires uh, Jehovah Sidikeno, mm -hmm. that requires Jehovah Rapha, his name. You provoke that manifestation through expressing and longing. Amen. Amen. To, and that is worship. You close your eyes, you lock your room, you refuse to get distracted and call his work out. You call him by his name. And then God hear your voice. And then he tells the angel, who is that calling me? Who is that seeking me? And the angel said, there's one guy somewhere there in the north and the south of Oshawa, mm -hmm. and this needs your attention right now. And suddenly, they are raised a manifestation. The doors are open. The heavens are open. The rain begins to fall. And may God say, here, here, here. Amen. Amen. That's what Solomon did. He called him out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He called him out. He worshipped God. He loved the Lord. And he offered a thousand offering. That is worship. Amen. Amen. Expressing longer, longing, desire for his manifestation. May you see the beauty of the Almighty. Amen. May you see the work of the Almighty. Amen. May the hand of God terminate all your fears. Amen. Whatever you are going through in your body, may the sun of Amen. righteousness arise Amen. and manifest with healings in his wing. Amen. You are a worshiper. Amen. You can call him out. Mm -hmm. The spirit of Christ is a spirit of worship. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we do it by the spirit of God. We do it in truth. And when we do it that way, there is a manifestation. Mm -hmm. You can be healed today Amen. if you genuinely worship. Mm -hmm. If you make it only about Jesus today, listen to me. He will respond. Amen. 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 There are so many people you can call them 
They don't respond to you. They can even snub you. They can even not answer you. But the Lord of hosts, the Lord God Almighty, the Bible says, all those who call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. Amen. If you know his name, amen, amen, in the spirit, and you call on that name, he will come to you. Amen. 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 He will no wise cast you out. The Bible says as many as come, there's none that come into him that he will cast out. Hallelujah. Jesus is alive. Amen. May you find grace to worship him Amen. again today. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's now quickly go on to do some knowledge about the works of God. Number one, the works of the Almighty God are terrible. Psalm 66 verse 3, hurry up for me because I'm going to give you a lot of scriptures for this morning Bible and um, Spirit Clinic to give you strength for this service. Amen. Amen. So when you go in there for the morning service, you are already ready to receive. Amen. You are there with one consciousness, the Lord at the center. Amen. So when the man of God begins to preach, you are not hearing man, you are not giving praise to man, you are hearing God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you say lift up your hands, you are not responding to man. Amen. Babes respond to men. Babes respond, carnality responds to who oh, is the greatest pastor. Oh, that's irrelevant. Amen. The most important thing is you must see God anywhere you go and you'll be blessed. It doesn't matter who preaches or teaches. What matters is that God can use anybody. Hallelujah. So open your heart. There is no room. Amen. For there is no way you will not be blessed if you maintain the consciousness of the Lord. 24 7. Amen. Amen. The Lord is Alpha. Amen. He is Omega. Amen. He is the first. Amen. He is the last. Amen. He is the beginning and the ending. Amen. He is the balm of Gilead. Amen. He is the healer. He is the savior. Amen. The Lord does all things. He is your song. Amen. He is your helper. He is the Lord that fights your battles when men are attacking you. He is your defender. He is your lifter. You got to know what God. God can do for you. Amen. 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 His works are terrible. Amen. They are great works. They are wonderful. Amen. Every time you use the word wonder, you see that word wonder in the Bible. They are always describing God as the work. Amen. Worker is always associated with the works of God. Amen. Look at Psalm 66 verse 3. Say he unto said, God. Say unto God. Hallelujah. How terrible are thou in your works. Hallelujah. Through the goodness of your power shall your enemies, enemies subdue themselves, themselves to you. Hallelujah. May the enemies of God in your life be subdued today. Amen. When you say unto God, when you say unto God, Say unto God, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What is worship? Amen. It is saying something to God, saying something about God to God. Amen. Amen. What you know that is true about God, you say it back to God. So it's God working in you to receive Himself in you. It's a circle. Amen. Amen. God created you for Himself. You are created for his pleasure. So God wants to hear from you about who he is. You are the mirror of the Almighty. You are the epistles of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are his righteousness. Amen. God wants to see you his work. And you say to him, Hallelujah. Amen. How great are you, Lord. Amen. Amen. How terrible are your works. How mighty. How beautiful. How awesome. How majestic. You cannot finish it. I mean, go to the entire word in the entire dictionary. Every single word, amen. Good word there can describe who God is. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say unto God, how terrible are thou in your works. Amen. amen. Number two, God's work is uh, great and terrible. Now look at Psalm 92 verse 5. The Lord's work are great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. O Lord. O Lord, yes. How great are thy works. How great are your works. And thy thoughts are very deep. And thy thoughts are very deep. How great. Thank God David knew that. May you know that God's works are great. God's works are great. 
God's works are terrible. Hallelujah. Yeah. Look at Psalm 145, verse 17. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, holy in all his works. Amen. Amen. And go to Psalm 40, verse 5 quickly. Most of this revelation of divine nature, you find them in the prophets and in the book of Psalm. Because the writer, David, was an astute worshiper in New God. He's a singer. Amen. Amen. Every time, listen to me carefully. We express worship in songs. We express it in gesticulation. We express it in poem. We express it in everything. Amen. Amen. Whenever you are, you are expressing worship in songs to the Almighty God, it must contain at least three elements. One, melody. Melody. So that your soul can be involved. Melody is a food for the soul. You know how you twist your voice, you twist your language. Mm -hmm. When I began to be a worshiper, I never knew how to sing. Amen. Mm -hmm. When God began to teach me worship, and I realized that within me is an instrument, and my soul responds to melody. Okay? It responds to melody. Melody is a, is a, is, 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 is a tune is, that tunes your soul. And it, it, it brings out your soul. And so, so when you sing, it has to look for the melody. It's in the voice. So you can express to God melody. So your soul can be involved. But that doesn't really complete worship. Because not all melodious songs are worship. Mm -hmm. You can be singing melodious song and be crying. But if it doesn't have the message that is true, it's still not complete. Mm -hmm. It has to have three elements. Whenever you are worshiping God and you are using songs, it has to have melody because melody will draw your soul. Then sometimes it has to have good beatings. The good beatings will wake up your body. Sometimes you are feeling down on the bed and you just hear, you just play a song, especially African, African beating. I love when they are cuckoo, cuckoo, bang, bang, bang. You see, it, it just wakes your body. That doesn't make you worship yet, but at least your body gets up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Sometimes in church in Africa, when the singers just roll in the drum, your body wakes up. When you are entering the church and then you just hear the, the beatings, mm -hmm. your body just, your body responds to beatings. So, you, if, you, if you don't have good drummers, you can drum yourself, amen. <laughs> or you can play music that has good beatings. Everybody's body responds to good beatings. You enjoy it. You start doing cuckoo, -cu -cu -cu. You start going this way. And your body, that is part of it. It's part of worship. But that doesn't make the entire worship. The third aspect is the message itself. Mm -hmm. The message has to be based on knowledge and truth. Mm -hmm. What you know is true about God. Amen. Amen. There are so many songs out there that have good melody, they have good music, good beatings, it's good music, but the entire message is unscriptural. Mm. Unscriptural. Thou take it, thou kill it, thou judge you know, mm. it. That is not true. God doesn't give and take mm. because you are trying to I mean, uh, uh, sing the song of uh, Job. Mm. Man, there are things that Job said that were based on his experience. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make it the scripture. Mm -hmm. Not every experience in the Bible are scriptures. Mm -hmm. They are not scripture. Scriptures are the prophet and the law, what God said, mm -hmm. who God mm -hmm. is. That is the scripture. There are injunctions in the Bible, there are advices in the Bible, there are counsels in the Bible, there are whole stories in the Bible. But that doesn't make them scripture. They just reveal the scriptures to you. Is in the scripture, in the laws and the prophet, you found the truth of who God is. Amen. Amen. Solomon married 1,000 wives. That doesn't mean you should marry 1,000 wives. It is not the cost of his life. I mean, Abraham lied. That means you lied. No, that doesn't make it scripture. So you can't say because somebody did that in the Bible, I got to do it. Mm -hmm. You got to understand the scripture. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay. Epistles are not scriptures. A piece is a correction of believers who are supposed to be living a life of the Spirit, but they went into carnality. Mm -hmm. So that's when the pieces were written. 
And most of the New Testament are epistles. It doesn't really make them scripture. If you want to understand the scripture, the scriptures, the word and the prophets, they are in the laws, in the, in the, in, in the prophets. They are in the word Jesus Christ said himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those ones cannot change. Amen. Amen. And so let me go back to the works of God. The works of God are wonderful. They are wonder. So Psalm, 45, Psalm 40 verse 5 quickly. Many, O Lord my God, yeah. are thy wonderful works which thou hast done. Many, O Lord, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done. Psalm 71 verse, Psalm 71, verse 17. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm oh 71, 17. Yeah. Thou hast taught me from my youth. O oh God, that has taught me from my youth. It had to avoid declare your wondrous works. works. Amen. Amen. So take note, know for sure, God's works are great. They are terrible. They are wonders. Wondrous and they are holy. And they are done in truth and in righteousness. You can go back home and check Psalm 33. Verse 15, you will find that there. Number, number two, if you really, really want to know God, God's works distinguishes him from all other gods. You see, you cannot compare God's works from the devil's works. You hear many people say, you don't know, the devil can do this, the devil can do that, because they don't know God. You see, there are things God can do, the devil can never attempt to dare it. Devil can never do it. Devil cannot do some things that God does. You see, devil and God cannot be compared. Nor on any angel in that order on any man. God alone inhabits eternity. When you are talking of deity, there's only one. God is one and there is no other. There is no like on him. There is none beside him, there is none behind him, there is none around him. Mm. Elon is God. Mm. Elon can pull you into himself. You can't get there by yourself. So when you are talking of God, God is one. Only in the mind of all regenerated men that they compare the devil with God. They fear the devil. They think the devil can do what God can do. I mean, listen to me carefully. If the devil can do what God can do, you will not be alive today. The devil has wanted to kill you before you were born, but he couldn't do it because he's not God. Amen. Amen. He has to lure you. He has to tempt you. He cannot undo and undo. The devil cannot create a pain because he hasn't got the power to create. There's only one creator who creates all things. So there are some things that the devil and his agent can never attempt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The bomb is in Gilead. Amen. Amen. So when you see the works of God and you know God, you will know this is God. This is not the devil. And I've seen a lot of people confuse God's work with the devil. Oh, back home in Africa many years ago, there's a man of God that God was using tremendously. But people didn't understand him. They didn't understand because he put his hand this way and things were happening. And they don't just blaspheme God, blaspheme his name, call him names. But I knew back home that this is God. And I'm still saying to men, this is God. You may not understand the conventional way. Mm. You may not understand the path. Look at the works. Mm. If you see the works that comes out of it, mm. gentle, powerful, creative works, only God could have done such a work. I mean, you see somebody take a, take a mud and create a new high. I mean, a new eye. Hey, listen, there is no devil. In this world behind the world, I can create a new eye using mud. Hmm. Let them come out and create it. There's no one that can do such work. Creative work, creative work are only the work of God. That's why God said, I alone did all this. When God put a new bone, when there's no bone in your leg and a new bone appeared, that can never be the devil. Hmm. There's no way the devil can ever get the bone. Where will he get it from? Where will he get it from? Only God. Yes, the devils and his cohorts have angelic power. The realm of the angels. They can do signs and wonders. 
They can put water on the air. They can do funny things. They can levitate and do all of those silly things. But when it comes into the creative power, God is distinguished by his work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when he manifests, his work can be compared. And those who know him, they know his work. When tornado moves, you will know the difference and when wind is blowing. Amen. Amen. When the thunder, you know the difference that when it's just a trumpet. Amen. 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 When God manifests, his work distinguishes. You can't compare his work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So those who know him, they celebrate. They know him by his works. And that's why Christ said, listen to me, you don't believe me, but look at the works I do. Because by my works, you will know. Both my works of righteousness, my works of power, Look at my works over the sea, all the four elements of creation, I conquer them. I rode on the sea, I rode on waters, I come, I mean the trees, I come. It's all the four elements, Jesus conquered it. So that was only, only God could have done such things. Fire, water, air, land, Jesus rode on them. There's no devil that can do what God does, trust me. They can only try to imitate him, mm. but they have a limitation. Sure. Their limitation is to their power, the angelic order. That's all they can do. But when, when, where God is God is when he manifests his works as God. Look at Psalm 86 quickly for me and verse 8 to 10. Psalm 86 from verse 8 to 10. Say unto God, his works are terrible. Hallelujah. Oh, among the like gods, the there is none like unto thee, O God. Hallelujah. Neither are there any works like unto thy works. Neither are there any works like unto thy works. All nations, there, whom thou hast made, shall come, come and worship before, before thee. Before o Lord. Lord, shall glorify thy name. Mm. For thou art great. And doest wondrous things. Thou art God alone. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thou art God alone. There is no opposite of God. God doesn't have opposite. Mm. Devil is not fighting God, he's fighting you. Mm. Woe to him that strives against his maker. Devil is only jealous of you because you are taking this place. Mm -hmm. He wants to use you against God. He doesn't want you to know the work of God. Mm -hmm. He wants to tell lies about God. He's just full of craftiness. Yeah. But when God appears, he disappears. Mm -hmm. Remember all the prophets of Baal. Mm -hmm. All those prophets they did, they scratch their body, they command wind, they do terrible things. And people honor them, they worship them. They think they are mighty. But the day came in, Elijah said, you, just, you come, let's see who is stronger. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when God came, they couldn't talk. They disappeared. They didn't show. They could, their prophets were amazed at all this power. Where were you going? Mm -hmm. No, when God comes on the scene, mm -hmm. nobody speaks. Mm -hmm. If God is not there, then all those power can make noise and threaten. But you calling God. When God comes in, they don't talk. Mm -hmm. the, the, the Bible says the devil fears and he trembles. Mm -hmm. Only man don't understand God. So they ascribe the work of God, the glory of God to the devil in their thought. They are suspicious. They are afraid because they don't understand the works of God. There are some things the devil cannot attempt to do because he hasn't got the capability, the ability to do it. He's only an angel. He's not a creator. In the creative creator's class, there's only one. Amen. God is one. He's God alone. Any other thing you call God is a liar. He's a liar. When God manifests, they all fear. Listen to me very carefully. A time is going to come and now is that time when that manifestation of the Almighty is going to be upon the nations and all their gods will disappear. Amen. It's called the shakings of the nation. You will see God. Amen. His glory shall be revealed. Amen. His name shall be exalted. Amen. He's going to have the last say and the last life because he is the Almighty Amen. and his works are terrible. His works are great. His works are 
are holy. His works are done in truth. And there is no other God who can do as he does. How great are you? How mighty are your works? Say unto God, how great are your works? Hallelujah. Let me tell you, God has done the greatest work on by mankind. And that's exactly what the cross of Jesus Christ is all about. And I pray when I begin to share with you next Sunday about the greatest work on the heart, the work of the cross, you will see and understand why the elders could not hold themselves in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The four and the twenty beasts could not hold themselves in heaven. They could not. The angels joined all the nations bar and they shouted and screamed, Thou art worthy, O God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will see the work of God. Amen. The Lord is worthy to receive all glory, all praise, all honor because of of his work. Amen. I say amen. You will see that works of God in your womb. Today your womb is opened up in the name of Jesus. You see that work of God on your health. Today you are healed forever in the name of Jesus. You see the works of God upon your finances. Your debts are cancelled in the name of Jesus. You will hear the testimony of Jesus. You will see that glory of God God, yeah. by the works of the Almighty. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We are going to continue next Sunday. There are still many more things I want to talk about the works of God before I take you to the real, the final, the complete, the complete work of God on the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. That brings in joy. That brings in celebration. That is why you and I come to worship Him. Not because we love to go to church, but because we understand His works and it deserves the praise. It deserves the worship. That's something the Lord has done for you and me that deserve your shouting about. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your mouth will never stop testifying. Amen. You will never stop being a worshiper Amen. when you understand the works of God. Amen. His works cannot be compared with any works. Let me quickly go to John chapter 10 verse 37 and 38 and John 14 10 and 11 and let's see how Jesus said, if you do not believe me because you are adopting me because I'm a Jew I look like some of you are looking at my background you are just not convinced. I am the one that God sent as Messiah. He said, but listen, look at my works. My works will tell, amen, amen, that I am the Savior. Look at Psalm, I mean, John 10, verse 37 to 38. Hallelujah. hallelujah. I say hallelujah. If I, father, if I do know the works of my Father, yes, believe me not. Believe me not. But, if I do, but if I do, though you believe not me, yes, believe the works. Believe the works. That you may know. That you may know. And believe. And believe the that the Father is in me, I am in the Father. If I do not the works of my Father, then I don't have a right to, to ask you to believe me. Oh, so you, I don't, you don't need to believe me. But if you can see the works of my Father, then know that the Father is in me. And the works I do, my Father does it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because my Father is a worker. So Christ is telling them, look at the works I do, mm. then believe me. Mm. Without me, look at my works. Mm. Look at my testimony. Look at my children. Mm. Look at my house. Look at my health. Look at my singing. Look at my life. Look at the miracles. Look at the signs and wonders. He said, look at my work. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. May your works in this life reflect the works of your Savior Amen. that the nations may believe us. Hallelujah. Amen. May the works of Christ manifest in you mm. and may you be able to say, look at my works. Mm. If it doubt my Christianity, mm. look at my testimony. Mm. May the testimony of Christ be established and confirmed in you. That was what Paul prayed for the I mean, Corinthian Christians in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 6, he said that the testimony of Christ be confirmed in you. I will talk about that next Sunday Amen. by the grace of God. Mm -hmm. But look at John 14, verse 10 and 11, quickly. John 14, 
Turn and level, you will see the believers, thou not. believers what? Thou not mm -hmm. that I am in the Father. Be yes. And the Father in me. And the Father is in me. The words that I speak unto you. The words that I speak unto you. To you, I, I speak, speak not, not of myself. myself. But the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. And look at verse 11. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe me for the very works sake. <laughs> Amen. Or else believe me for the very works sake. Look at the works of the hands. And then you sow and give your faith and believes. By their works, we shall know them. And there are so many works of God that you will know that this is God. God can never be compared with Satan. Amen. Amen. Finally, John 15, 24. John 15, 24. And by God's grace, next week, I will let you see how you can use the instrument of his work to confront any kind of challenge or position that comes your way and then how you are destined to tell of his works. Then I will move into teaching you about the greatest work of God on heart, the work of his cross. You will never be the same again. John 15, 24. If Let's I have not done among them the works. If I have not done among them the what? Which none other man did. Which none other man did. They had not had sin. They had not had sin. But now. Now. Have they both seen? They are both, yes. And they tell both me as my father. Yes. But this coming to pass. Mm. That the word might be fulfilled mm. that is written in their law. Yeah. They hated me without the cause. Okay. He said, if I have not done the works which no man ever did. Amen. Say so they have no, then they are justified in hating me. But if they see the works that I did on my father, they are not justified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is distinguished by his works. The Lord is celebrated by his works. And today, may that works of Christ manifest afresh unto you. May you sing of his works. Amen. You're going to see in the Bible why David said, I will tell, I will declare, I will speak of your works. May that be your story Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get ready for a wonderful service. May the works of the Almighty through Jesus Christ by the Holy Spirit manifest afresh today. Amen. May your mouth be enlarged to Amen. sing His praise Amen. because you taste, you feel the work of God. Amen. May the testimony of God, the testimony of Christ, the spirit of prophecy rest upon you. Amen. Have a wonderful service. Amen. See you at 11.15. Amen. Amen. For the praise and worship. Hallelujah. Amen. And today we are going to be hosting another servant of God. Amen. 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 Reverend Albert Oduole Amen. bringing forth the testimony and the work of Christ in your life. Amen. God bless you. Amen. And see you soon. In Jesus' holy name. Amen.